Hello again, and welcome back to Dead Space 2. Where we last left off, we finally made our way to the government sector, as well as finding a ship to escape to, but unfortunately I've decided to stay behind while I push Ellie to go to the ship to escape herself. And as for me, I've decided to destroy the marker. However, Tideman and his goons decide to lock me out with all the necromorphs, so I've decided to improvise by opening the gate so the necromorphs could just kill everyone in sight, and I make my way through the marker. And from the looks of this, speaking of which, there are a lot of marker pieces scattering together, almost like they're closing by and something like that. But enough said, let's just go finish this once and for all before the necromorphs beat me to the marker. And before we get started, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment below. As well as my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. So with that out of the way, let's begin. So I can still hear the necromorphs killing everybody. As you can see, they made a mess down there now. Out there. Also, there was something very big that head this way, with more eyes that's glowing. I don't know what it was, but I know we're going to find out sooner or later. And yes, this thing won't go back in, as you can see. So I'm not as energetic, energetic as I am, so I won't be talking that much. And there's the necromorphs making their way almost as it looks similar to somebody making their way to the heavy metal concert. And I know something is coming this way. There it is. Simple. Just in case. What did I tell you? Not as good as you think. Good old blood bullet time. I really can't speak today, so yeah. Let me just stop here and there and move on. Intruders detected, no shit. Hold on for a sec. And there's the exploder. Let me take care of this guy. Alright, since you have nothing, let's see what your attack is. Are you gonna whack me with your arm? Ooh, okay. You know what? You're dead. So, that explains why they have a split head. Just very similar to they showed me in the Last game, the head was just split open in half, so that's their attack when they have no explosive things. There we go, now we can make our way. And it's a metal detector, so I have a lot of armor and carrying weapon. 
Yeah, you're not trying to fool me. Faker. Faking all you. Trick. There's one. There we go. Now we can move on. Isaac, where are you going? I don't know. Well, that's why I'm here, Isaac. To show you the way. So now we have our locator activated, thanks to Nicole. And let me just check this area first. Just like in the previous area, I have to find a body. Lars Nordstrom. Hmm. Let me see. I'm guessing this is Lars Nordstrom, if you ask me. Thanks for the heads up, nerd. these guys tearing their way through the marker. Ken Phelps, research log 43509. I can't stop thinking about the formulas from patient four's last session. They're so clearly ordered they keep playing back in my mind. The final configuration seems within reach. I can almost solve it myself. It's funny. I was telling Travis the other day that it's almost like it wants us to succeed. I've never seen anything like it. Once we finally solve this heuristic stabilization problem, we should be able to start growing the layers of the marker from the mineral baths. Let's see if there's any weapons here. Ammo, at least. Okay, looks like we found one of these things. These containers. And looks like the containers is filled with these marker shape gadget looks like they're making their own markers that explains more necromorphs are invading in this station usually there is a safe station that I was gonna save here but nah that's not gonna happen hold that thought Nice try. Nothing there. Ah, get that thing. Something's coming. Damn, a terrible shot. That was pretty quick. Jeez, your your head looks ugly. All right, enough joking around. Let's move on. I have a lot of these ammo. These ammo, I meant. Let's see how far I go. No more of it. That's 
That's my cue to go. Gotta prepare myself. escape. Got you. And this one's still missing its head. Just like a Christmas ornament or a decoration. Looks like that takes care of these baddies. And literally this baddie. Something about the marker that I didn't pay attention to, so doesn't matter, let's just move on. Project Annex. Not the sound that I want to hear. Definitely not the sound that I wanted to hear. That direction, but... I'm gonna have to check somewhere first. I'm gonna check real some real quick. Okay, I got three. I didn't upload my seeker and detonator, so I'm good. One, two, three, four. That me leads me to six. Let me just check something first before I can move on.
There we go. Now we can... I was going to say now we can go, but something's popped out. This guy. Wow, that was pretty simple. I guess I can do my upgrades with the two weapons. And for this reload. There we go. That direction. Why do I have the feeling that this growth is getting worse? Or another feeling that something else is happening? Of course, crates. Where there's crates, there's these guys. See how this end up turns out. All clear. Nope, not for long. Peekaboo, you're dead. Clever girl. And I'm dead. So let's try this again. Hopefully I won't mess this up, but at least I got my achievement for this.
Daniel Worthington, Research Log 16671. It's the same signal. Dementia and codes and blueprints are all caused by the same signal from the marker. It's the people that are different. Smart people see codes and blueprints, but to everyone else it's just noise. Noise that drives you mad. Alright, so that takes care of that business. And what the um, audio was mentioning is involving a marker which represents bringing some signal that you see in your head which creates an annoying noise. Not as annoying as taking care of these guys. But this thing is messed up so let's just find a battery to replace which is over there. There it is. Let's just get this out and place it here because let's just we're gonna have to search around this area. See if I miss anything. Here it is. Let's see. Alright, that's clear. Now let's move on. And I think I hear something else. There's a cyst, but... Oh. There's another one. Another cyst. I really can't speak today. All clear. What is that? I can feel it in my head. We're getting closer, Isaac. The marker knows you're here. I still don't know what to do. When the time comes, you will. You will. Okay, so that's what they were explaining. When you're closer to the marker that Isaac has been imprinted with the signal, it tells all of them gives you the signal and all that. And there's another thing where they're creating another marker. And one of these baby things. Yep, I'm spotted. Looks like I have to dodge these lasers to make my way around the other side. This will be fun. takes care of these babies. Now I'm gonna have to find a way to get through this laser thing.
All right, that was easy. Just repeat the same process. Wait until the laser is out of the way and move as fast as you can. Actually, as long as those crawlers doesn't pop out. Yeah, that'll teach you. That was pretty fun. You're fun when you're dead. Alright, jokes aside, let's just wait until this last one gets out of the way. Made it. The nanny. Yes, I am. Not that nasty... Not that bad movie, though. Oh, you know I was waiting. You're just waiting for me to get over there. How precious. Oh well, it's time to die. Just one more. Hopefully. Like a bouse. I just mounted you up. So I did. With you. Mounted both of you. Let's just keep going. I'm getting a little tongue twisting all that. As I was saying, I was just drinking my water. I'm getting a little tongue twister. Okay, now we're gonna have to turn on this thing. Let's just get what's inside, what's inside here. <clears throat> turn this on, now let's see what happens. Yeah, oh, we just turned the laser off, so we can make more room. Get the ramp on. No use your stasis to lower this. And the same from here. Scared me, dude. That's what you get. You're also it's also fun when you're splat. Splatty splat splat. This does not sound good. I could just go in there and help these people, or I could just sit here and wait until everyone who wants to kill me dies. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I guess staying here was a good choice. Let me get more of these. Hold up, let me try something. Oh, there's another audio log. Peter Phelps, research log 43546. Success, the marker layer held out. It is a fully expressed physical representation of the heuristic algorithms from patient four, with no breakdowns. The construction schedule begins in earnest tomorrow. Celebration is tonight. I hope I don't black out in the middle of the party. I'm anxious, for some reason. Right. Well, as I was saying, let me see. Let me find another victim. Like I said, that's not the sound that I want to hear. <laughs> this one is up your butt. I'm so funny. <sighs> and I am so sad as well, at the same time. Alright, enough that. Let's just try to find some other stuff. There is a store there, but, or was there, or here, but it seems broken. Let me move these guys out of the way. Because I'm so, I got a feeling that I'm near the marker. Now, this is a room that this is going to be very difficult to go through because most of these necromorphs are just going to bust out of these ventilation on each side. Let me take care of these guys for a moment. Alright, so as I was saying, most of these necromorphs are just going to come out of these, each vent over there. So what you should do is there is a room on, uh, over there, there is a room on the corner over there that you can make it easier for them to fight off. Let me just take care of this. That way it won't be a struggle to kill these necromorphs from there. And of course, I'm going to have to silence this video so I can focus on doing this because I know I'm going to be dying a lot in this area. And I could have sworn that I see more Necromorse fleeing. But that's enough of that. Let's just go. So you see what I mean? Even though this area is crammed up, it makes it easier to fight off these guys. If you have one of the detonator, you just use it to place it right here. So if they come towards you, then they can blow up 
on each side, from behind you and from front. Just to be sure, let's just go inside, outside to see if it's safe. I doubt that it's not. And no, it's not. It's still few out there. Yeah, coming outside was a bad idea. Back inside. Just taking my time until one of these guys pop out. There you are. You did. Yeah. You just messed me up. So you did too. Now, let's just try this again. Repeat. In case more of these things pop out. There's one of them. Okay. I was going to use that for... No, hold up. Okay, so I hope that's the last time we get to deal with these guys. Nope. I was wrong. <sighs> this is going to be a thing. Come on, take your time. There we go. I'll take this, thank you. At first this was fun, but now this is becoming more repetitive and annoying. Alright, so now we can go down to the next section below. And just like before, you have to repeat each of them. All the way on the other side. Let's go. Almost there, come on, come on. Alright, I made it. Now this here is a bit different than the last one. Just to be sure. It seems clear. Now I'm going to have to silence this again just to be sure.
Okay, that looks like that's done, but fortunately I can't- or right, never mind. I can, so let's move out. Now we can move. So that basically is the key to surviving that section. Hopefully this is the last place or route. Alright, that must be nothing. Research log 43549. Uh, I blacked out early last night and woke up this morning staring at a tiny, fully formed version of the marker in one of the crystal air printing baths. I had entered the entire heuristic sequencing algorithm. I can still hear it in my mind, like a song now. I know that the mention suppressors are working, but this is something entirely different. I'm guessing he's suggesting the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star song. Now what? Probably nothing. Oh, probably something, actually. Let me take care of this one. You know what, let me just play catch with this guy. Come on. Just like old times. And that takes care of him. No more boss fight for a while. All right, let's just fix this and see what's behind this door. Let me check around before we do this. Okay, just to be sure. This must be where the um, marker is located. Hello, what's this? Oh, looks like most of the necromorphs make their way, heading their way to the marker. Like some sort of auditorium from kindergarten. Or a play. 
or something in the between. Hmm. One of these necromorphs I like. Oh, hi, Bob. How's it going? Oh, doing fine. Are you look? Are you really looking for for this play? Eh, I heard it wasn't that good, but just to get out of the house with away from the wife and kids. <laughs> That's what one of them are saying. One of them say, God, I can't believe I have to go with my girlfriend for this stupid play. All right, enough of that. Let's just go. Project Intercore. So this is where the marker area is. Fortunately, we're going to have to stop this video. Let me just check around here for a moment. I need to get some health. Hello. Ah, haven't seen a text for a while. All right, whatever. Here, Phelps, research log 43553. I'm convinced we are puppets of some alien influence. I no longer believe we are in control of this project or ever were. I believe even our rationalizations for this whole thing are an illusion, planted by the forces behind the original marker, the, 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 the black one. We don't know how to make this thing. It is making us make it, and it's trying to get out, desperately. I'm under security watch after taking a sledgehammer to the tiny marker I built last week. We need to destroy everything we've built here, and destroy every record, every shred of research. They were right the first time on Aegis 7. This is beyond our ability to know or control. I have to go. My supervisor is whispering to the security guard. So basically, one of the pieces of the marker is telling the people to make another one. Alright, let's just sell some stuff and... Let's see, call it quits. Of course I heard you can get rid of some of the... Nods upgrade that you do that you can. Let me just get rid of the, all of it. In fact, let me try to buy the contact beam. I'm going to see if I can sell these guys later. Time to come back to me. Do I have the contact beam? Uh... No, I do not. So I'm stuck with this for now. Oh, of course, I'm in my inventory. I'm stupid. Tori. Alright. Now I can get rid of this. Come here, you. I don't need this. I'm not sure if I upgraded my thing, the Javener gun. Whatever. Let me try to upgrade my contact beam and call it a day. And my throat is almost sore. Mm. Alternate fire. Yeah, I'm gonna have to save that for later. For now, we're gonna have to call it... Call it quits. So, yeah, thank you for watching my video. And sorry for not being talkative and sounding alright. I'll try better next time. So, like always, if there's anything that you like, be sure to give a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. 
So until then, I will see you again in the next or perhaps the final video.